Hi, you're probably familiar with the Raspberry Pi, which is a fully equipped desktop computer capable of running Linux. It's cool, but way too powerful to tickle the brain of an old-school demo coder. The Raspberry Pi Pico series is something else entirely. This is just a 1 euro microcontroller, along with a minimal set of external components to get it up and running. The whole board is around 5 euro, and for that price you get a surprisingly powerful system, but it's still a microcontroller. There's no operating system, you're programming the bare metal, timing is predictable down to individual clock cycles, and you have to be frugal with memory. The Pico 2 has 520 kilobytes of RAM and 4 megabytes of flash for storing the program. I'm not using all of the flash. My demo is around 700 kilobytes, so it would fit on one of these. Then there are two processor cores rated up to 150 megahertz. Remarkably, these can operate either as industry standard ARM cores or as a RISC-V cores, something I was eager to try. RISC-V is an open, royalty-free processor architecture, and its elegant instruction set was such a pleasure to work with that I ended up implementing the entire demo in assembly language. The microcontroller has no dedicated video or audio circuitry, so you have to generate all signals yourself, but there are some highly useful peripherals, like programmable input-output blocks, pulse width modulation, a DMA controller, and an eccentric feature called the interpolator. The digital signals from the Pico have to be brought out to, in this case, a VGA connector and a stereo jack, and I do that in the simplest way possible with a bunch of resistors and capacitors. Schematics are included in the release, so you can build and run this demo at home. So let's connect video, audio, and power. And here we go, Kaleidoscopical. 